What do we see here? What madness is this? More than one egg in the cell. This is something very young mated queens often do for about a week. Notice some eggs are on their tip, just laid. Some are tilted or laying down, which means the eggs are two or three days old. The young queen has returned to some cells and laid eggs again in them. Some she got right though. All eggs are near the center of the cell base, the original foundation. Whoa, there's a cell with seven eggs. Come on, queen, keep practicing. You'll get better. If you see multiple eggs down at the base of a cell, wait one week and look again. It was probably a young queen. And when you recheck a week later, she will have gotten her plumbing under control. Can you see a few cells with a larva, wet brood food, and an egg? In these worker cells of a queen right colony, we see two larvae sometimes. The workers will cannibalize extra larvae and leave one larva per cell. These scenes were all shot in the hive of this queen, who had only mated less than a week before. Laying workers are much more rare than a young queen. We were lucky enough to see a laying worker in action this summer. Laying workers are most likely to be found in a hive that has been queenless for three to four weeks. Then there's little to no brood pheromone, which plays a large part in suppressing workers' ovaries normally. Notice this worker has a retinue, but it is clear she's not a queen because of her small thorax, short abdomen, and how her hind legs look. This colony was queenless and had very few bees. To test what is happening in your colony, add a marked frame with eggs in worker cells from a known queen right colony, and then wait seven days and look again. And if you see they made queen cells on that frame, they did need a queen. If they did not begin queen cells on that marked frame, they had a queen. Here are some photos of another laying worker doing what she feels is best in a queenless colony. Here she is backing into the cell. The only other reason a worker will back into a cell is to kick off pollen loads from her legs. This photo shows her trying to get in as deep as she can. In cells which are not fully drawn out, laying workers may deposit eggs at the cell base, but laying an egg on the long walls is much more common. This is what results from about four to six weeks with no queen. No more worker brood, just distorted worker cells stretched into wider, deeper drone cells. And remember, a young queen who hasn't got her plumbing straight yet is much more common than laying workers. If you wait one week, you should start to see eggs laid singly and properly by your mated queen. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Better Bees channel for more helpful content.